Hey, what's up guys? The Exmulation Pro is here. Today, I'll explain the dark romantic comedy movie, Looks That Kill. Spoilers incoming! The movie starts with a doctor counseling Max, the main character, with bandages on his head on how he is feeling right now on a scale of 1 to 10. He answers that if he could choose lower than 1, and the doctor says that there's no lower than 1, but still, he replies that there's a 0 existing. The doctor says that Max's parents mentioned that he has something special, and then he finishes the sentence that he could kill accidentally. Max explains that whenever someone sees his face, he just didn't say the word but pretended that he is dead. The doctor doesn't believe him and asks why his parents are still alive, and he replies with a story of his past. He says that his mother knew that there's something wrong from the day he was born, because when he came out to see the world, the one who handles him, the doctor and the nurses, gets out of this world. He is too when they started to move from town to town because the lesser the people there are, the lesser the accidents that could happen. Living a normal life is not just for him. The solution that his parents had is to bandage his whole face and make him wear sunglasses just to cover his whole face. Back to the present, the doctor asks why he is with him right now and he replies that he wanted to be normal. The doctor says that maybe the bandages is just his trauma from his childhood and there's a loud noise and his parents went up to the stairs to see what happened. There, the doctor lies dead, and the boy named Max says that he warns the doctor and didn't believe in him, while he's putting back his bandages on his face. The cops arrive at the area and is now asking Max's parents because every time there is an accident, their son is always present at the scene. The family went home and eating dinner. His parents are very worried because Max is always in his room and doesn't want to go out. His father suggests that they will sign up Max in an online dating service like his friend, Dan. Max says that it is a great idea because all of those girls will either be freaking out because his bandages or will be dead. Dan is now in Max's room and he is busy with his phone looking for girls while Max is holding a brick and asks Dan to do something. But still, Dan is busy with his phone looking for dates. Then Dan pays attention to Max when he is pointing to what hobby Max has and a painting caught his eye and asking Max if it is a rabbit eating manhood and Max replies that it is a carrot and not the one his imagination sees. Dan is still with his phone and annoyingly, Max drops the phone and Dan punches him in the face while holding the brick. The purpose of the brick has been served. It is winter on their area and his mother says that it is really cold right now. Max says that she should call someone to fix the heater. She's now on the phone and asking for details and when she says that Max is her son, the phone on the other end hangs up. Dan is now on their door and asks if he breaks his nose when he hit it with the brick and luckily, it's not. The next agenda of Dan is saying that he arranges a blind date for him and Max fell on the floor. So shy and don't know what to do, Dan is encouraging him that he will going to kill it, but ironically, he's not talking about how Max kills accidentally. Max is now with Dan and the girl and Dan leaves the two. The waiter is asking for their order and then left. Max is trying hard to make a conversation with the girl named Erica. Max gives Erica a handkerchief with her name embroidered on it. He tells her that it is his first Valentine's date on his life, but suddenly, an uninvited man is now on their side of the table having a chat with Erica. The uninvited man recognizes him as a person that kills with his pretty face. The uninvited man causes a commotion and ruins Max's first ever Valentine's date. Max is so depressed that he is now on the bridge attempting to jump, but a girl named Alex approaches him and asks what he is doing. She also asks if she is interrupting his dramatic leash off the bridge. Max replies that bad things happen because of him, but in the end, she makes him change his mind. Alex brought Max to a shelter for the aged people and there, stories of the old woman are served. One old woman says that she is a novelist and Max mentioned that his mom loves Daniel Steele. And the old woman says that even the last name is suspicious and says that her spot is stolen from the old woman. The two of them separate and Dan is asking Max if he even gets her last name and luckily Dan found her on his phone. The next day, Max went to the bus stop and there, Alex is standing. Max asks her if she wants to hang out with him since he notices that Alex is really not going to school and Alex agrees. They went to the store and bought much amount of jelly beans and now they are in a bathtub of jelly beans. There, Max shares his story about the bandage and Alex says that there's nothing new about that for she already knows about it. This time, Alex shares her story that she has a rare heart disease and she is wearing a device that monitors her because she is not allowed of any excessive of any emotions. Then the two is going to see a movie and Alex brings wine in the plastic so it will look like just a mineral water. And there inside the cinema, they play a drinking game and Alex teases him, asking if it is his first time drinking, but he denies it. 
Max is thanking Alex for hanging out with him, and Alex says that he didn't need to mention it. Besides, he is the only friend that she has. The two of them are now in Max's room, and Dan is calling him to come over to play with him, and Alex says hello to Dan, and Dan says that they should continue what they are doing in a malicious tone. Alex says to not look at her, and Max asks how did she says that he is looking into him triggers Alex to come and get Max's glasses. She successfully removes the glasses and sees Max's eyes, but his mother calling him interrupts their moment. Opening Max's room, the parents were in shock because they didn't believe what they are seeing. Max is with a girl. The parents introduced a foreign girl exchange student, Yu Shen, who is going to live with them. Dan, Max, Alex, and Yu Shen are on a camping. Yu Shen asks to take some pictures of her on a wall, and Alex corrects her that it is a tree and not a wall. Suddenly, Alex had a cut on her palm, and Max puts an alcohol and bandage from his face. Alex teases him that they got a Boy Scout with them. Night came, and they are the only one who is awake. A tent, a campfire, and the dark surrounding is a perfect scene for a kiss. There, Max put a blindfold on Alex's eyes, and he makes her touch his face, wishing that she could see it. Then there, Alex kisses him under their blanket. Max's mother asks for a favor to get the Christmas tree out of their house, and Yu Shen throws her cigar, didn't notice that the tree is there, that causes a fire and lit up a new cigarette. She then notices that the tree is on fire but ignores it. Then, Dan saw it and panics that he even grabs the blazing tree. They went to the hospital to take care of Dan's burnt hand. There, they saw Alex, greets them but talk like they're just someone she knew and acted like they are not close. That makes them confused at the moment. Max asks his father while on a grocery store how his father knows that he loves his mom. His father is holding a cereal at the moment and gives it to Yu Shen because they are going to have a serious conversation. But Yu Shen just throws the cereal on the floor, even though the shopping cart is just right there beside her. Back to the serious conversation, Max's father advises him that just tell Alex how does he really feel for her. His father added that maybe he would like what will be Alex's response. Alex and Max are visiting the shelter again, and when they are finding Rose, the old woman Max met when he first visited the shelter, they are escorted in a room where Rose is there lying. The two of them are very sad when they see Rose. Alex talks to Max that Rose doesn't deserve the machine that is making her live. Alex says that he wants to help her, give Rose to preserve her dignity. Then Max later on realizes what Alex means. He shows his face to Rose, and there, she died with a smiling face. Alex's condition is worsening, that her mother has anxiety. She is taking higher dosage of medicine than the usual, and his heart is getting bigger is physically showing. Max and Alex are now arguing because Alex says that her condition is not the same as Max's, that he just needs to hide his face, and hers is not an easy problem to solve. Then Max asks what he can do for her, and she just responds that he should bring him to the dance ball. Alex is wearing a maid costume, and Max is really worried. He asks her if he has taken, and bring her med, and Alex answers that she is all good. And there, Yu Shen comes down the stairs, and Max's mother asks Yu Shen, what is she even wearing? Because Yu Shen is wearing a see-through dress, and her underwear is showing. She also has a gold belt bag in front of her, and Alex asks Max if it is wrong that she loves Yu Shen. They are now at the ball. Both Alex and Max are having fun dancing in an upbeat music, and suddenly, a slow dance is in the background. They are both in an awkward state. Max reaches his hand and Alex grabs it, and they are now starting to dance slowly. Alex leans on Max and suddenly, she has her nose bleeding. A commotion happens when Greg, the man who ruined his first ever Valentine's date, forces him to show his face, and a girl looks at him and suddenly died. The cops arrest Max and he is searching for Alex, but is nowhere to be found. He is now locked in jail, and when he is released, he goes straight to Alex's hospital room. He's talking to Alex how he wishes that he should have taken another date, if he knew that Alex will be now in the hospital bed. They have an argument, because Alex wants him to take away her pain. But Max refuses, because he says that every time someone dies looking at his face, it haunts him. Max didn't answer any of Alex's calls, and Dan is really upset and says that on what he is doing, he will not ever have to say goodbye, and that punch hits him. He visits Alex and they had to talk. He kisses Alex and is now ready to take her pain, but when Alex sees his face, nothing happens. The one that triggers Alex is his heart, but not Alex's face. The story ends how it all started. Max is sitting there and a the doctor is asking how he feels on a scale of 1 to 10 and he replies that it is a 5. He tells a story how he perceives what he has now, 
He can now take off the bandage with his loved ones because unconditional love is the answer. He also tells the doctor how his family becomes closer, especially his parents. And now the next step that he will take is that he will show a little bit more of his face. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.